Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and in this video I wanted to share with you some of my tips how we can decipher and actually uh, read hidden text painted with different colors and in this video I'm going to show you on the instance of, for example, WhatsApp messages. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos. Let's go! So now, as I said, I'm going to show you how we can decipher hidden text painted with different colors. And in this video, I'm going to use two application applications, which is Snapseed and PixArt. So these are the applications that, that I'm going to use in this video. And uh, let's go into our first one. It's PixArt. So now I'm suggesting you go into Tools then adjust and you will see these parameters that we need to adjust in order to get to our result. So the very first thing that I'm going to tell you here is that, for example, if we have any kind of light color, as you can see, like yellow here, uh, what we have to do is before we do anything else, we just need to go into brightness, as you see, and we need to reduce it until I would say 50 or 60. And after this, you can just zoom up your photo and you will probably see your uh, like uh, letters and like lines, etc, etc. And you will be able to probably you will be able to read whatever is hidden under this paint. And after this, we will go to our next colors. So for our next colors, we need to increase our brightness actually to the maximum next is going to be contrast contrast i suggest reducing to maybe 60 around this yeah 60 -ish is going to be okay in order to make our colors less bright and less colored i would say so clarity we're going to skip this one and going straight into saturation so saturation is also we need to reduce this one, maybe even to 7-ish, yeah, some, something like this, because we don't want our colors to cover our letters. And by doing this, we will somehow balance the color and the text in order to us be able to read this text. Also, we're going to skip the hue and we're going to highlights. So highlights, I suggest you increasing it maybe to a half, something like this. And as you can see, we already see our little results. And the last setting that's going to be is shadows. So I suggest you increase it a little bit until, yeah, just a little bit, maybe till 20 or something like that. And as you can see, if we zoom up our screenshot, you will probably see that text uh, under the color, as you can see. Because we did, we did a great job in just making a balance between these colors and the text itself. And so by this, we probably will be able to read whatever text you will be, uh, you will need to uncover. And next application is going to be Snapseed. So let's go inside and we need to press here on tools and tune image. Then tapping on the uh, this sign and we're going straight into the settings. So here exactly as in the previous video, if we are dealing with some kind of yellowish or pretty bright colors, you can see it might be actually green, maybe even some shades of blue and especially yellow or something like that, orangey, etc, etc. So I suggest you to reduce brightness again until maybe 60 or 70 in order to be able to, in here, as you can see, we need even less than that. And after you zoom up your, your photo, you will be able to read the text and also see the black lines and the uh, structures of the words that you would like to read. And after this, we're going to go to our next, all of our next colors. And here we need to uh, increase our brightness till maybe 90 or something like that. You just need to look at your own screen because different screens have different color ratios, etc, etc. Next is going to be our contrast. I suggest to reduce the contrast again to make the balance between the colors and the text 
maybe 290 also yeah something like this next is going to be saturation so we need to make our colors less colored so here's going to be maybe around 60 70 something like like this yeah 70 okay and the next is going to be ambience ambience we're going to reduce to minus 100 that's going to be the best for our results and highlights so highlight is going to be our i would say last setting here and we need to definitely increase it in order to make the white background to i would say somehow contrast the black text in order for us to be able to read it and as you can see we now can after zoom up we can see clearly the text as you can see we can uh, read it clearly and see whatever it was hidden under the colors and so i hope that this video was really helpful and interesting for you if it was please don't forget to like subscribe and also hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos